Okay, now let's look at hyperbolas. Now these types of problems that I'm showing you right now are at the end of the book. The parabola problems, those are all at the beginning, uh, I mean the end of the assignment that I gave to you guys. The parabola problems are the ones at the beginning that I believe you guys all have enough knowledge in order to figure out. And if you can't figure out, then we could spend some time tomorrow and you can ask me some questions for it. But let me show you guys hyperbolas. Okay, the focus points are at 0, negative 5, and 0, 5, and so we're going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it also gives us the vertices. Let's label those F. The vertices are up 2, down 2. Well, that's kind of weird. The vertices are on the inside. Oh, that's right. This is a hyperbola. It's not an ellipse. So that means our graph is going to look something like this. But in order to get, to get it exact, um, we would need to know what uh, the points are out here so we can have the correct asymptotes and what have you. Um, but here we're just supposed to write a standard form equation. So what is the standard form equation for a hyperbola? Well, it's either going to be x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared, or it's going to be y squared over a squared minus uh, x squared over b squared. How do I tell the difference? Which is which? You look at which one is positive. Which value is positive, the x value or the y value in this graph? The y value should be positive, and the reason why we know that is because the transversal axis is vertical. That means the y squared should be positive. So that means it's not this one, it's this one. Now we just need to know what the a is and what the b is. The a is the distance from the center to the vertex, to the vertices. What is the distance for this one? It is 2. So what am I going to put underneath y squared? 4. The, the hard one to find here is, is the b. Like, how do we know that? In order to find the b, well, we know the a. The a equals 2. Um, we don't know the b. Uh, do we know the c? Yes. The c is the distance from the center to the focus point, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We know that from the points. So I know that the c is 5. We know that the a squared is 4. We know that the b squared is nothing. And we know that the c squared is 25. So what's the formula that relates all of these letters together? A squared minus b squared is c squared. Um, close. It's not this one. This one is for the ellipse. Yeah, this one is the plus. When you add it, then you know it's for the hyperbola. The a squared is 2. No, 4. The b squared, we don't know. The c squared is 25. I subtract 4 from both sides. b squared is 21. Boom, we got our b squared. Now, just as a reminder, this is c, all the way to the focus point. This is A to the, ver to the vertex. B is, now I don't know what B is. Do you guys know what the square root of 21 is? No, Approximately. Uh, it's between 25 and 16. So 21 is between 25 and 16. So it's about 4 point something. Right? Yes. Okay, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4 point something. So that's where my, my B is going to be. So whatever this distance is. That's your B. And that's going to give you the rest of your graph. And if I wanted to graph the rest of my graph, which you guys didn't have to right now, it would look something like this. One, two, three, four. And then I would draw my asymptotes. And then you can draw your graphs. Oh. It's supposed to go through the vertex.